15 from Chopper 5. The victim had been pulled from the water before paramedics could get there. This is the time of year when more people are using Bay Area Waters KPX-5's Lauren Toms went on patrol with the Coast Guard, and it did not take long before someone needed help. Boat and water safety is critical year round to avoid live water rescues like this one. But during summer, it is especially critical as more people take to local waterways to cool down. Today, I caught up with our local Coast Guard who says that the number one key to staying safe and avoiding a water rescue is being aware of your surroundings. This is a real life rescue response from the Coast Guard. Doug Samp is on a mission to keep people safe, particularly during summer. Summertime uh, is obviously the, the, the height of boating season, inland on our, our inland lakes and also here on the coast. And we're, we're seeing a lot more uh, boats coming out for the first time out of winter. So they, they'll break down, uh, engine check out, running out of gas, equipment's not working. Prompting the Coast Guard out of the Golden Gate Station to conduct a rescue like this. Boating accidents. As a matter of fact, we saw one here right off of, uh, off of uh, in the bay here uh, between a recreational boat and a sailboat colliding um, from drownings. Last year we had 25 drownings in the California area, not including our inland lakes. 25, and most of them are from uh, people not wearing life jackets. Sam has been with the Coast Guard for 33 years. Helping people. Uh, California's water is so diverse. It's blessed to be back and, and serving the people of uh, California for, on search and rescue. Right there. Stationed in Sausalito, our local Coast Guard does more than just search and rescue. But summer hits different for these crew members, with water rescues being a part of their daily jobs. Speed's good, course is good. Training kicks in, they respond, take care of the emergency, and get you ashore to uh, proper help. We'll always be here, we'll never go away. Um, and it, yes, it is tough when people drown, not wearing their life jackets. But the top life-saving tool, Sam says, is a life vest. And he says a shocking number of people wear them incorrectly or not at all. Wearing your life jacket is the difference between life and death on the water. Sam loves this work and says he'll never stop trying to help others stay safe. The water is unforgiving. The water is cold. If you do get in trouble, make sure you, you, your radio works and you know what to say. The, the big five. How many people are on board, your position, nature of distress, and a, a description of your vessel so you know what to look for. And you always wear your life jacket. This year alone, the Coast Guard has conducted over a thousand water rescues in California. Samp also says that most boat rental centers should offer life vest rentals for free, and he tells me that it's worth it every time to get that rental. In Sausalito, I'm Lauren Toms, KPIX 5. Now to the other.